Hello everyone, welcome back! My name is Code. I have a special treat for you guys today. We are not on the Olympus Craft server, we are currently on just a little single player creative world here. And today, as you can tell by the description, we are going to take a look at a brand new texture pack. And uh, it's a discovery I made here recently. We are going to go over today Mizuno's CIT pack. Now this is a custom texture pack that you guys can use on any of your worlds. Uh, this is a client side texture pack so this is not part of a server or uh, anything else like this. You can do this in all your own worlds. You can do this on servers because it's all client sides so the visual part here is sent just on the client side so that you guys can see it. So most of you guys are familiar with texture packs. I've used them before. I've featured a couple of them in my past videos. And today, this one's a little bit different than some of the other ones. You can actually use what I'm about to talk about today with any texture pack you want. So right now, I'm actually running the Faithful texture pack. And let's take a look here real quick. So if we look at my resource packs here, uh, we are running both the Faithful texture pack and the Mizuno's 16 Craft CIT pack. Now, I will uh, put the link in the description. This is currently a Minecraft 1.16.4 pack, but it does work with 1.17 because I am currently on 1.17. We can look at F3 here, top left, we are Minecraft 1.17. So this pack here is a extras pack, is the best way to describe it. It allows you to uh, take textures of certain items and customize them. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of stuff just kind of hanging out here. And these items here are items you normally cannot get within regular vanilla Minecraft. Um, now, if I would look at this without the proper texture pack involved, actually, let's, let me turn it off real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you see here now, we have just a bunch of, you know, chests. And these are actually in invisible item frames. We have a couple crafting tables in invisible item frames. Over here, we have a bed in an item frame and then a fence in item frames. You know, none of this stuff is very special for regular Minecraft, but you do notice that these are named items. Like that's Lantern Zero, this is White Banner underscore two. And the way this texture pack works is it takes certain named items and then allows us to add a special texture to it. So as you see here, these are just renamed chests that I've put in item frames and check out the awesome textures that we have here. Now these are not operational blocks. These are just decorational blocks, but you can use these to really add a awesome effect to your worlds. So right here I have an acacia fence. This is an acacia fence that I have renamed to acacia fence underscore zero and I've placed it in an item frame. But look at what I see here. This is like a, uh, what do they call these things? A sawhorse sitting right here. I have another special table here. This is a birch fence I've renamed and placed and here's an oak fence. Uh, I have a bed sitting right here with a teddy bear on it. I mean, how cool is that? Now, these are items, like I said, that you, you, you can't normally see in regular Minecraft, but we have the ability to create custom texture packs to create specialized items. So I'll show you how these work here. Right over here, I have, I'll go ahead and knock these out real quick. I have two white banners put back and forth, and it gives us this awesome uh, curtain that is kind of pulled back and forth. Over here, we have some crafting tables. Now these are just some tools that are suspended from the top, which look absolutely amazing. Up here we have those lanterns I showed you just a second ago, but now we have string lights. Um, of course, right here is a totem of undying, kind of a cool looking little man there. Over here, I've got those chests. Here's a couple more crafting tables. Um, and then over here, I have a nice place setting. Now this is just a cool table I made. Uh, just out of some quartz, but look, I have place settings. I have a sandwich sitting here. I have a beer sitting here. Uh, some spices, I guess you would say. A bottle of wine, uh, some pork here. Now, like I said, these are just amazing textures that you can add to your worlds. So in order to create these things, you can see down here I have uh, some bread. I'm gonna take a regular piece of bread. I am going to throw it in this here, and I'm gonna rename it bread underscore zero. And now, I have a really cool piece of bread. I'm actually gonna place this one just on top of this uh, right here. Boom. Now I have a big old loaf of bread sitting on here. Now, if you guys have any of the additional data packs uh, from Vanilla Tweaks, you can actually make your item frames invisible, which is what I've done on most of these here. And now I have a loaf of bread sitting on my anvil. 
So over here, this is a cartography table that I have added to an invisible item frame. Gives me like a map and a compass looking really cool as decoration. Uh, right here, I have a scale, which is a lightweighted pressure plate that's been renamed. And look at that. Imagine having all of these things in vanilla Minecraft and decorating your worlds to a new level with a resource pack like this. So down in the description, I will link all of this stuff and uh, let me show you guys real quick how all of this works. So here we are on the Mizuno's uh, website here, and this is actually the catalog. Now I will link this separately down in the description as well, but this is the catalog to tell you how you can rename your items once you have the texture pack, the CIT texture pack. So if we look down through here, you'll see all kinds of amazing building blocks. You'll see all kinds of decoration blocks, such as the chest that I showed you, the crafting tables. Here's the fences. Um, here's the beds. You can also rename things like creeper heads to get these cool ones, a skeleton skull here. You can rename your white banners to get those curtain rods that I was talking about with the curtains on them. There's barrels. Uh, here's the cartography table that I just did. Uh, there's the lanterns, um, trap doors. There's that pressure plate. And all of these are just regular items in the, in the game that you rename. This will cost you, if you do it in survival, it will cost you one level in order to rename these items, but as long as you have a few levels, you can go through and as you're working and rename each of your items to get these amazing textures. And even things like buckets of tropical fish and puffer fish, you can actually rename and get to such a better texture with all of these things, paper, books. I imagine we could take these books and make for an awesome bookshelf uh, using item frames and placing these items within them, even down to scrolls and stuff like that. Enchanted books. There's also a bunch of food stuffs in here. So such as sugar, uh, melon seeds, you can rename all these kinds of things. You can even take a book and quill and turn it into a laptop. All right, so how do I download this? So I will link this page that you're looking at right here down in the description. You can actually just go to this download link right here and it will take you over here to their download page. Now, I am downloading the CIT pack. This is uh, just those additional items in there. It is. It doesn't actually retexture any of the rest of the game. Uh, Mizuno does have a full texture pack as well that does retexture all the textures within the game. But uh, I here just want to use the CIT pack because I don't want to actually texture everything. I just want to do those special stuff. And you can also download the invisible item frame pack here as well that will make all of your item frames invisible. Now real quick, just a, a quick disclaimer, this does require Optifine and I will link Optifine's links in the description below. Uh, so you can download the Optifine pack as well. Uh, once you have Optifine, you can go and you can enable this CIT pack and then you can get to renaming your items. All right, so back over here on Minecraft, I'll let you guys take a look at this stuff once again. These are absolutely amazing textures. You can really add a whole new depth to your builds and uh, make your stuff just look absolutely amazing. Now, I don't know if there's any way to disable the actual like names of them. See how we see Bowl 5 there and like Bread 5? There's probably a way to do that, and I will look that up. Uh, but as of right now, I'm not sure of an easy way to disable those names, but you can always just hit F1 when you're looking at stuff if you want to you know, display something, and you won't see those actual item names that are there. Uh, same goes with these things like the uh, crafting tables and the chests and stuff like that. But this does give you an awesome ability to create just something you've never really seen before in regular Minecraft. Adding these extra textures, all this kind of stuff, without actually changing much of the game. So we're not actually changing the game here. We're not adding uh, anything special. These are not special items. These are just renamed items that have a custom texture. Now, mind you, if you do this kind of stuff on a server, anybody who does not have this CIT pack will see the regular items like I showed you before. They will not see these special items. But, uh... If you are running a server and you want to have something like this, you can make this a required texture pack uh, or just make it so that people can uh, download the texture pack uh, upon logging into the server. Okay, so we're over here at the Party Brewers base and he's actually here right now. Um, we're just going to take a look because he has used some of these uh, CIT blocks for quite some time and we actually can see one of them right now. There is one of the raw pork chops. Um, <laughs> just used to cut kind of as a be like that as uh, one of the decorations here on this table uh, a while back he did have some of the plates put up on here but uh, it looks like he's actually removed those uh, because there's there's nothing going on right now there's 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 no meals being presented here so 
we have one of the raw pork chops right up here. And of course you can see here the candles, which are actually torches, but they have retextured them to actually look like candles. They look awesome right here. And then here is another one. This is a tropical fish in an item frame that he has taken and renamed, of course, tropical fish underscore one, which gives it that uh, fish on a board look, which of course is awesome. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys tagging along for this one. This was a quick video, but I wanted to feature this because I thought it was just absolutely amazing. Uh, this is, like I said, this is stuff we don't see in regular vanilla Minecraft, so I wanted to be able to feature this. And I hope you guys will install this and use these kinds of decoration blocks in your world because you can really take your builds up a whole nother level when you have things and you can actually take a, a table that you have set out and, and fully place mat it out. You can do all kinds of really cool stuff with this. So I appreciate you guys tagging along, and I will see you guys on the next episode.